Hello everyone, um, I've been getting so many PMs asking me how the hell did I get so much money on my Iron Man so fast into the game when I just started playing on it. So right now I'm going to show you that and this is actually a really great money making method for all of you Iron Man out there. So what you want to do is grab as many nature runes as you have and I like to keep my inventory like that at the start. Okay, just grab food. Cakes are the best, but I ran out of them. And, you know, I like to have like seven to eight places free. And then where you want to go is Hem Hideout. I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with this. This is a dungeon sign right here. And what you want to do is pickpocket storage rooms. Of course, in order to do that, you are going to have to need to have completed some quests, which are... Death to the Dorgishan, and I think the Lost Tribe is before that, and of course Goblin Diplomacy in order to do both of them. So, yeah, at first you can just do this with low alchemy, and later on when you get to 55 like I just got, you can do the high alchemy, which is just going to boost your profit even more. So, first of all, I'll show you how the storage rooms work, and once we go through that, I will show you probably the best way of getting nature runes very early in the game because as you can see I have a lot of them and you know I can constantly get them whenever I run out of them it is super fast it is super amazing so um, yeah before I pick that trapdoor it takes some time there we go you just climb down you run south of course a higher thieving level is an advantage here but uh, to be fair I think you only need 25 I'm not quite sure about that let me see. Yeah, I only need 20 actually in order to do that, but I would uh, suggest you to first off pickpocket those uh, here on the top to get, you know, full hem and then come down here. And once you're down here, it, if this seems complicated, it is not. It is very straightforward and very easy. You pickpocket those guards and all you're looking for are those keys. Of course, you can drop everything else and, you know, just keep pickpocketing until you have... I'm just gonna speed up that part later on, but until you have, you know, um, keys, uh, just food and keys. So let's do that super fast. And of course another insanely good thing about this place is you're gonna get a lot of easy clue scrolls. And as soon as you get an easy clue scroll, go and do it because just just do them like you can get nice rewards from it it is really nice you know you can get the pages some cool stuff just do every easy clue scroll because you know it's just it's it is just nice so yeah i'm getting really close to you know having the keys Okay, just for the sake of the video, let's say this is a full, uh, like the keys we needed, uh, imagine here another key. Once you do have that and you know, you don't eat more food and whatever, you want to go, you see this hole right here, just squeeze through that crack and then open this small chest. You're gonna need bronze key for that and you're gonna get some jewelry or coins. If you get the gold jewelry, drop it. It's bad, don't elk it, you're not gonna get profit and you can also get some small amount of coins and you know this is what you're looking for you're looking for the jewelry that is above gold of course when you get gold drop it and what you want to do is simply high elk those and once you don't have the key simply squeeze through the crack again and pickpocket those doors right here on the north uh, western side i mean i like to do it in a, in a circle you know i go first northwest then northeast and then southeast so yeah you're <coughs> Sorry for that, you're just gonna pick, pick, pick lock those doors. It's gonna take some time, but yeah, nothing I can do about it. And once you're in there, again, you just open chests and you can elk. Uh, meanwhile, it is opening just like that and you're gonna get some nice profit in here. Of course, I don't have key one more time, so we just go and pick lock it. The next room right here. This, this minigame is called storage rooms, basically. And as you can see, we already have 3k. And, you know, at first, just getting up to 10k will give you an ability to buy a lot of magic guests. And with magic guests, you know, just simple um, fire strikes, you can then kill monsters in order, you know, to either complete the quests or in order to just get more nature runes with, uh, which I will show later on in, the, in this uh, clip. So this is the last room we're going in right now. And you get the feel of it, like how to do the storage rooms. Of course, when you get an easy clue scroll, simply do it. And, you know, you can bank the jewelry if you want. So, so 
I'm just gonna open this one more chest and then I'm gonna show you how I get my nature runes. And every time I get an uncut, so like ruby, sapphire, whatever, I don't do anything with it, I just store it and put it in my bank later on. So here we are, here we are, this was just, you know, a short little trip. Usually you want to now just repeat the whole process, you're gonna get more keys because you're gonna eat more food and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to show you how I get a lot of nature runes. So for the next part, in order to get a lot of nature runes, really early in the game you're going to have to complete some quests and this includes completing the fairy tale 1 Growing Pains as well as just starting fairy tale part 2, Cure Queen. And uh, which that will allow you is to teleport via uh, those rings which I'm just gonna show you right now. And what you're going to need is some casts, I recommend just, you know, the... I recommend the fire strike casts. They are the cheapest and if on the early level you just get some gold from the storage rooms and then you can buy casts to get more nature runes and just so you train magic and you evolve your level. So what you want to do is use your fairy ring and teleport to the enchanted valley B K Q. Okay, B K Q. I hope I pronounced that right. So you teleport there. You, you need to have an X, any kind of X works, it can be bronze, it can be any kind of X, it doesn't matter. And what you want to do is just run a little bit south, just a little bit, and you're gonna see those nice trees right here. You chop them down, and this thing spawns, and you just run behind the plant, and you are safe to go. And you attack, uh, wait, 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 I didn't, uh, yeah, you need to set your casts, and you just attack the tree spirit. And those are amazing. I have like seven rune axes already and I got them super fast. So um, you just want to kill those and they constantly drop 22 nature runes. It is actually amazing. And I got all my nature runes here. And then when I'm done with my casts, I go back to storage rooms. I complete more clue scrolls and it's just the way I got my money. So um, yeah, I hope this actually helped you out. And another Think people ask me where do I get lore runes? I get them from the shop in the wilderness and if any of you is having problem how to do that I'm willing to create another like two minute video just showing you where the hell to buy lore runes as an Iron Man but I don't think that is needed for now if it is make sure to leave it in the comments so I think that completes this guide, this little explanation on how I get my money. And uh, if you want to follow my progress videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely amazing. And if you want to watch the series from the beginning, click the annotation which will pop on the top right corner. Here are the nature runes, 22 of them. You're gonna get them constantly. And um, that was it from me. Have a good day. Bye.